Well, um, I don't think anyone is scared to oppose the leader. But one thing that uh, uh, you know is factual is that in any organization there has to be a center. You can't have too many centers. You understand? There has to be a center, and uh, normally the center is a vision carrier. And so Hakainde Hichlema has been identified for now, okay, and in the past as the vision carrier. Look. Um, <laughs> How do you, how do you uh, even contemplate to change a leader who you know and you are convinced, in my case, you are convinced, and I want to be slow as I say this, you are very convinced that he won the 2016 election and it was robbed from him. That's what I'm saying now. We went to court, the door was shut before our faces because they didn't want us to adduce evidence. The difference between President Edgar Lungo and Hakainde Ichilema in absolute terms was 100,000 votes. 100,000 votes. In terms of President Lungu being eligible and going crossing the line of 50% plus one vote, that makes him sit in that state house today, was 13,000 votes, like this and three. That's what I'm talking about. So what kind of organization is going to start selling another candidate in a country that is so vast, okay, a year before or two years before a general election? It takes a people who have no vision. It takes a people who, 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 who are short-sighted to think that today you can just stand up and say, now I'm going to start selling myself. As far as we are concerned today, whether one likes it or they do not like it, Hakainde is a brand name today. He's an alternative, a much more plausible alternative to all the malaise that's going on in this country. Mm. He so, is, and that's the reason why, if you if you allow me for just one mm, second, mm, mm, both of you, mm. why would you think that there's been so much energy uh, from our competitors, the PF, to bring one man down? He's been charged for treason in a matter of a traffic traffic offence where he was just a passenger. Just now, two people died um, at the police headquarters there for what one would call a civil matter. And you've heard that the, the, the rest is history. You understand what, what's going on. And I'm sure you do not have to be a rocket scientist to understand that there's a hand of the PF, the Nawakwis of this world, in this whole persecution of one individual. So when you talk about that in terms of... He's a threat. Uh, the, That's the, what I'm the, the, as, a threat. as the UPND, you've generally accepted that this is the leader you, you want to go with. Again, when you look at uh, past presidents, people align it to, for example, the unique days where you have, uh, you know, uh, uh, President Kaunda, you know, going up against a, a frog because now it seems like it's just for formalities sake. So then now when you look at the processes ultimately, I know you have the constitution that requires that you get to do so, but now it just looks like it's formality's sake. So how exactly do we differentiate that in terms of having these particular processes get to be done and make it seem, make it seem like it's just for formalities, just going there just for sure to people out there that this is what's happening within the party? Well, it is a constitutional requirement, first of all, that we should go to the elections, all right? Mm. And by their nature, elections are very divisive. Let me tell you, sitting here as chairman elections, this has been a long road for me. I, I have learned so much about people management. Mm. It is a divisive thing, but it's a necessary thing to happen. It is a test kit for how you can be united in your diversity. You know, uh, at the, the lower organs... Uh, Chimweka, from the wards up to the province, we have had very competitive uh, elections, highly competitive elections, which sometimes almost even cascaded into degeneration. Okay? Mm -hmm. But that's what the Constitution uh, demands for us to do. Mm -hmm. Now, I just said it to you, and I'll say it again. If you as a group are in agreement and by consensus mm -hmm. that at the top there's nothing that's broken, why would you want to fix something that's not broken? Mm. So generally, no, nobody has aspirations of being the, the, the president of the UPND. God's time is the best time. And we think that we, I don't know about you and mm. other people, mm. we who are branded like this, mm -hmm. think that we already have a leader. Let me take you to... Yeah. Um, 
Oh, no, but with that said, um, obviously you're saying that the party has agreed that um, that the party president will continue, you feel, should be uh, Mr. Hakan Hitlema. When it comes to the running mates, are we expecting to see a young person, male or female? Because um, we do not know who the expected running mate will be. When would the uh, nation know about this? Because I think that it's important uh, this information reaches out. Uh, b before you actually get to uh, respond to that, um, let's start off with the point of why usually this is kept as a secret maybe as politicians it's something we do not know as, as citizens of, of of this nation why it's usually secret until probably the last day of of, of actually getting to <laughs> filing nomination why is it such a big secret <laughs> well look to first of all it's a delicate affair i, I think it should uh, it should be understood as such it's a very delicate affair but it's a it's a requirement of the law that um, a presidential candidate will appoint a running mate. I am not a presidential candidate mm. in Katala. I wish I, I was, mm -hmm. but I'm not. You don't want to get a, a running mate like uh, we had just now. We've learned from, 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 from the past in a very, very hard way mm. that you can get a running mate who is truant, who is not loyal to the group cause, and also to the vision of the leader. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, that question, Katala, um, I can pass it on to Mr. Ichlema and mm -hmm. say people are anxious, they want to find out mm -hmm. who your running mate is going to be. Mm -hmm. All right? Is it going to be fem female? Again, is it going to be somebody energetic? Again, that is his prerogative. Mm -hmm. Okay? And uh, you couldn't push him to the wall uh, to say it's going to be this one. At, at any given time, mm -hmm. it is his prerogative. And the same applies. Do you know, for instance, Katala, who the running mate for DP is? Who the running mate for PF is? Who the running mate for Sean Tembo is? So we are no exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. We are not. No, for other parties, I mean, uh, we're, we're meant to believe the, the vice, because usually the vice president is the person who they, they put along with the president of some of yeah, these political parties. so let's parties. wait for Sunday. Let's mm. wait for Sunday, that you bring in a good dimension. Mm. Let's wait for Sunday, because our constitution under Article 52, mm -hmm. because I do recall emailing uh, our our constitution to Ms. Lupunga here, mm -hmm. um, she asked me about the voting, the modus operandi, Mm -hmm. whether or not we are following the constitution under article 52 it's very clear mm -hmm. how we, we are supposed to vote mm -hmm. the nmc members will be voted by an election